Hey guys, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm planning from February 12th to the 18th and I'm using this kit from Planning Choco, Planning Choco, I'm not sure how to say it. I think it's Choco, I'm not sure. Please feel free to correct me. I thought this was uh, Planner Choco, but maybe they had a rebrand or this is a totally different shop. I'm not sure, but this is a printable kit and I was so excited to have a kit with everything that I could possibly need. This kit format might be my favorite that I've seen in a very long time because I feel like all of these labels are the perfect size. There were so many size variations and the little things were just right. I very much enjoyed using this kit. But before we get into anything else, I need to address something that is about to happen. And in my defense, I'm short and I'm looking at my planner while I'm planning this from an angle. So uh, it's a glaringly obvious mistake watching it from above. <laughs> okay, I realize that. And you're probably thinking, how the hell did she miss that? Number one, I'm sleep deprived. Number two, I'm overwhelmed with life. And number three, I just, I just wasn't paying attention. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. I had a brain fart and I put the headers on top of the dates on the first half of the week. But then as you can see, totally slipped my mind I was even doing that. You know when you leave a room and you forget what you like entered the new room for? You know that? Like that's basically what happened to me when I went to the, the other side of my, oh my God, look at this. I was looking for this. Sorry. I just found a sticker that I didn't know where it landed. I found it. Um, Anyway, I, I don't know. I just had a brain fart the second I got to the second page. I just, anyway, I don't notice this mistake until the very end. And it breaks my heart. <laughs> but I did fix it. I thought about not because, as I've mentioned, I'm struggling with this, this paper. I'm just ripping it all the time. And pulling up this many stickers without undo was very scary. I think I am going to invest in some undo. I've never felt the need for it before, but um, I still have a whole year to get through. Um, so I think I, I think I need it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Safe to say this plan with me has taken me longer than pretty much any plan with me <laughs> because of that mistake. Um, but anyway, I love this spread. I think it's beautiful. And, I, and that is the main reason why I had to fix my mistake because I was just so happy with how this spread looks. Just the colors are so pleasing to me for whatever reason. And I just really liked how everything was looking. And so <laughs> I, I had to fix it. I had to fix it. Um, you'll see that I did leave a full box off of Wednesday, which was pretty tricky because I really wanted to use all of the full boxes that came with this kit. They're just so pretty. I'm loving this style of art. I don't know. Is this AI? Like, I don't even know how people are doing this, but it's beautiful. I love it. Um, and you'll see on Sunday, I didn't really have much going on. So I used part of that double box, um, just to take up space. But basically every other day, I needed a decent amount of space. Yeah? Are you tired? Anyway, like every time I talk, she needs to like pit, ch chime in, whatever. Um, but yeah, as far as this week goes, it's obviously the week of Valentine's Day. Um, if you've watched some of my recent videos at least like the last year, you'll know I'm really not into holidays anymore. They mean nothing to me except obligation at this point. Um, but Valentine's Day used to be one of my favorite holidays because my grandmother and I, we would like get dinner, we would go see a movie, or we would stay in and watch a movie and order in and it was like super cute. Um, it's never been like a, a super romantic day to me. I just have always liked it. I don't know why we started doing that. Couldn't tell you, but it's a special day to me. Um, so yeah, unfortunately I can't do that anymore because we don't live together anymore. Um, but it's fine. Uh, I don't know if anything else happened. Oh yes. Something else did happen this week. 
So if you saw, maybe I mentioned it in the, no, it wasn't the most recent week. I can't remember, but basically, long story short-ish, um, my roommate and I were potentially not going to stay in this apartment. I tried to find um, a less expensive place um, in an area I felt comfortable living in. Um, preferably with a washer dryer, just because I am like basically middle-aged at this point, And I just, I can't go back to schlepping my fucking laundry places. Um, that I would just, no, I would rather starve to death than go to a laundromat. Um, it is what it is. Anyway, the point is I ended up deciding that I was just going to stay in this apartment for another year and pretty much live paycheck to paycheck by covering like all the rent myself um, because it's a pretty big apartment for what we pay and I was finding studio apartments for twice the price as this two bedroom like ridiculous so that was my plan and I was just gonna hopefully be able to find something the following year or um, I've been trying to find uh, a new job not only because I hate my job but because I need to make more money the economy is ridiculous right now so Anyway, last minute, my like literally last minute, like she told me she wasn't going to be able to live with me anymore the very next day. She was like, LOL, never mind. I'm staying. Um, so this week we had to talk to our landlord about renewing our lease. Now, this last go around, we did six months because she wasn't sure if she'd be able to stay in Philadelphia, but she knew for the next six months she could do it. Um, she hasn't been here at all, but anyway. I said short, didn't I? Um, so, uh, but he said like, if we do a six month lease, if we renew again, it's going to have to be a year lease. Cause they really don't do year leases. He just made an exception for us. I think cause we've lived here for so long and we don't cause any problems. Um, so, uh, I was just nervous because the way that rent prices are just like going up and up and up he could charge more for this place like much more um even though it's an old building and everything breaks it's still like a really big apartment in like an up and coming area so I was very very nervous this week that um he was going to decide to raise our rent like an insane amount um fortunately he only raised it $50, so $25 each. So my rent for me only went up $25, which I can't be too mad about. I am sort of disappointed that we didn't renew for the full year. It's not her fault. She didn't know if she was going to be able to stay or not, but we could have been saving whatever 25 times six is. You know what I'm saying? But it's fine. It's not a big deal. $25 is nothing. So um, we're pretty lucky because some people, their rent is going up like nobody's business. Um... Other than that, uh, I just had a very, very, very anxious week. I was in my feelings a lot. You'll see that. Um, And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, we did go to a pizza party on Sunday and it was at noon because everybody except us were parents um, and parents get up quite early with their children. So noon to them is nothing, but we stayed up till 3.30 the night before. So that was a little tricky, but it was all okay. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's it. I think pretty sure if not, I'll get into it during the day by day starting now. So pretty much like every week, Monday is not very exciting. I worked from home like I always do. And I use this laptop from, I want to say Apple Blossom Prince Co. Then I changed my sheets this day, which I did want to mark separately from laundry because it's my least favorite thing to do. Um, As far as like chores go, I hate unmaking and making my bed. It's such a pain in the ass. So I used this GP Studio sticker that I've had for quite a while. Then with this, um, I want to say it's from the Coffee Monsters Co. This washing machine, I marked that I did laundry. And then with a Paper Shire sticker, I marked that I cleaned. So it was like all of my getting ready for the week type stuff. Then I did a workout on my break and I used a yoga mat. I forgot to check the name of this shop. I bought these like printable icons from the shop and it's new to me. So forgive me, I can't remember, but I'll 
figure it out next time maybe um then with uh munchkin from once more with love i marked that my boss informed me that it was supposed to snow in philadelphia so i didn't have to go into the office the next day there are no more beautiful words than that i just oh i was so excited and i don't like snow but if it means i can stay home fantastic um and for all of you who don't know she was in denver but uh she like still looks at the philadelphia weather um so yeah that was great news then with another munchkin i marked working on my puzzle i haven't done a puzzle in a really long time just because i haven't had time to sort these pieces but i definitely miss miss doing a puzzle once i'm caught up with with spreads i'm gonna go back to doing my puzzles then with a laptop from the kit, I marked that I applied to some jobs. And then with a Planning Roses book stack, I marked that, marked that I read. Moving on to Tuesday, the first thing I marked was that I had a snow day and I used this little daydreaming munchkin. Um, I used a work munchkin to mark that I worked from home. Obviously, it's sort of repetitive, but it's fine. Um, then with this anxious munchkin, I marked that this is when my roommate texted the landlord. I asked her if she would do it just because I was too on edge. Like I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. And she's fine with that stuff. So she texted him and I just had to wait and wait and wait to find out what was happening. Then on my break, I did a chest workout and I used a sticker from the kit with this eye roll munchkin, I marked that our rent went up $25 each, which isn't a big deal, but it's still like, ugh, you know, would have been nice to not. Um, and then with another sticker from the kit, I marked that I finished pulling all of my remaining stickers for 2023. Then I tried to make myself a chai um, latte, which I've done so many times. I don't know if it's because I got a different brand of oat milk or what, but it was disgusting. It tasted so bad. I just dumped it down the sink and it took so long to make. And I made such a mess. Like I, I spilled the milk. It was just a disaster. So that sucked. Um, anyway, this is an olive from olive studio with another icon from the kit. I marked that I changed my Invisalign aligners and then, don't ask me why, I think I just wanted to use this sticker because I think it's cute and it matched the spread. But with this claw machine from Papershire, I marked that I worked on my puzzle. And then the final thing for Tuesday with this um, Instagram emoji, I marked that I um, created an Instagram post for my boyfriend's job. Um, he always asks me to do them for him and that's fine. So I did that before bed. Moving on to Wednesday, the first thing I marked was that it was Valentine's Day and I finally had an excuse to use this sticker that is from Once, a Once More With Love freebie. With a Rise and Shine munchkin, I marked that I wasn't as angry as I usually am in the morning and I couldn't tell you why. I'm sort of thinking it was because I had two days at home to chill um, before going back into the office. Uh, but I genuinely don't know why because I know I stayed up way too late on Tuesday, but you know... It's a nice change. Then with this lunchbox sticker, I marked that I was in the office and they had a bunch of treats out for everybody because of Valentine's Day and this uh, flat lay is from Papershire. I was so excited to finally be able to use some of these. They're kind of tricky um, to fit into spreads, but I, I marked that the office had free treats and I was so brave. I got myself a croissant. Usually I'm like scared to do anything. Um, but I really like croissants, so I got myself one. And then with a stick with the Plan Co. girl, I think they're called Lottie, actually. I want to say that's right. If it's wrong, let me know. Um, I was just dead tired after work. I, it just, I didn't sleep the night before as per usual, so I don't know, even know what I'm saying, but I just laid on the couch for a little while. Then Joe came over and he brought me a bunch of Valentine's Day treats. He found this one candy that I was hunting for. I really like those Sour Punch straws that come in like the big bag. The best flavor is Christmas, but I saw that they had like an all red bag for Valentine's Day and I couldn't find it. So he found that. He brought my favorite cookies. He brought me a pretzel from Auntie Anne's and he brought me uh, Chick-fil-A nuggets and oh, and an Olipop that I was looking for, a flavor. He found it. I did not get him anything. <laughs> um oops anyway 
Uh, I used this, I think it says I love, what does it say? Oh, to me, from me. That's not really true, but you can't tell. I can barely tell, so it's fine. But I've had this sticker for quite a while, this munchkin. Finally got to use it. Um, then I marked that we ate uh, Chick-fil-A and spaghetti because um, the nuggets, there was only like five nuggets each, so it wasn't a lot of food. Um, so I made spaghetti to go with it. And I used two separate stickers because I can. So the first one is from Papershire and the spaghetti sticker, I believe, is Once More With Love. Then I marked that we tried watching the new season of The Bachelor and I was so disappointed. We both were. We were both so bored and usually I can get right into it. And I was hoping to watch this season because The Bachelor is from Philadelphia and that's always fun, but I just could not get into it. Um... And he, he, yeah, it just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just finally bored with it because it is very repetitive. So I used a whatever munchkin to mark that it was boring. And we did, we ditched it after one episode. And then the final thing I marked on Wednesday was that I was just exhausted. And I was like in my feelings and I just, I don't know. I just wasn't loving life. And I used this sad munchkin holding a heart to mark that because we're sad on Valentine's Day. Then moving on to Thursday, the first thing I wa- uh, marked was that it was a freezing walk to the office. I think I've marked that quite a few times, but we were having some seriously cold mornings, like in the teens and 20s, and I don't like the cold. So yeah, um, I used another one of these munchkins in a window for that. Then with a flat lay, I marked that I was in office. Obviously, where else am I walking? But I just wanted an excuse to use another one of these flat lays. And then I took my pretzel to work to have for lunch. Um, so I used this deco from, I think, a Scribble Prince Co. kit that, I've, that I used in the past um, to mark that. Then I used another Papershire game sticker to mark that I started playing this phone game to get um, swag bucks, if you guys know what that is, um, or swag ups, whatever they're called. But if you go to like, I think it's swagbucks.com, you can play games for points and then you can use the points for gift cards. I got a, was it 25 or 35? I got either a $25 or $35 gift card to Walmart just for playing phone games. I'm not kidding. Um, so it's worth a (laughs) look-see if you're interested. Um, but yeah, so I was playing that. Then I, um, worked on my puzzle again. And then with this nope sticker, I just marked that I was like over it. I just did not give a shit about anything. It was Thursday night. That's my night. And, um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I was just in my own world. Then with this bed sticker from Planning Roses, I think it says change bedding or wash bedding, but I cut that off and then covered it the rest with this YouTube icon from the kit to mark that I watched YouTube in bed. Moving on to Friday, the first thing I marked was that I was feeling very anxious this day um, because uh, I was potentially going to another game night and the last one was just it just wasn't my night to shine. So I was a little nervous about going back because I knew I was going to have to be on like my best fake behavior. And that's sort of overwhelming when you're depressed and anxious and angry. It's really hard to like put on a show, but spoiler alert, I did such a good job. I did such a good job. I was, I was so nice and so friendly. Anyway, I was very anxious about that. Um, I thought about not going then with another laptop, I marked work and Friday's my short day from home. So that was good. I was able to print and cut a kit, a full kit. I'm still having serious issues with my printer, but I got a full kit made, which was such a relief. Then I took a nap on my break and the pillow is again, just from the kit with this overwhelmed or no. Is it an overwhelmed munchkin? Anyway, this puddle munchkin, I marked that I was feeling very overwhelmed, like I just said. Um, And then I wanted to do a workout, but I was very, very, very tired. And so I drank a second energy drink, but I drank a Celsius. And sometimes those make me feel like throwing up. So 
uh, yeah, I felt terrible and my body still just felt so weak. I was hoping the caffeine would give me a little boost, but it did not. So I marked that I was too weak to work out and I just skipped it. And this is a cramps munchkin, but I just cut off the word cramps and the little like red radiating belly lines. I don't, I don't know. Um, then with this icon that I've just had forever, probably from SPC, I marked that I had to rush to get ready because last minute, um, I decided I was going to go. Then with this emoji in this really cute drink glass, I marked that I had a couple drinks. Um, and I think, no, maybe. Is this my first time? This might have been my, f no, no, yes. I think this was my first time taking out my Invisalign in front of people and I was feeling really self-conscious about it, which I know is stupid, but just like, shut up. Um, and I used a game night sticker. I've had this sticker forever and a half. It's from Once More With Love, but I finally got to use it. And um, yeah, just to mark game night. There was this one girl though. She was very nice. But I don't think I've ever met anybody over the age of 10 that is so desperate to win a board game in my life. She was like changing the rules as we went so, so that she would have it like, oh my God. It was like, there was this one point we were playing. I don't, it was the dumbest game. It was like, what do you meme? I honestly didn't like it, but um I personally didn't exchange any of my cards until everybody else was. And then I think I exchanged one, but this girl, she would exchange all 10 of hers. And then she'd be like, no, 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 these are terrible. These are terrible. I, I have to do it again. And then she would ex exchange all 10 of her cards again, even though we all agreed we would just exchange one. Um, and then her card won and she was like so excited. <laughs> and Joe and I were just looking at each other like, yeah, because you had 30 cards to choose from. <laughs> anyway, it was fun. I just, I don't love people like that. But after we got to like talk and not play the games, I was like, okay, you're a nice person. You just, you just have a thing about winning, Jesus Christ. And then the final thing I marked was that it snowed. Luckily, all the snow was gone by Saturday because I just, I don't like snow unless it gets me out of going to work. So anyway, the first thing on Saturday I marked was that I was just a little bit hungover. It's like, cause I got up earlier than I wanted to. And it's sort of that gross feeling where you need to like eat something. No, Janet, please don't. She's chirping at my backpack. She's going to try to jump up and grab it. And I would just really love it if she didn't. Anyway, no, <laughs> sorry. Um, but we had a baby shower to go to. So I didn't really have the chance to like lay on the couch and try to recover a little bit. And I marked the, uh, sorry, I marked my baby hangover with this RX bottle from Paper Shire. And then for the baby shower, I used this gift box from Scribble Prince Co. Then with yet another Paper Shire flat lay, I marked that they had so much food at this baby shower. This was the bougiest baby shower I've ever been to and like the coolest because it was in a restaurant slash bar. The food was insane. The uh goodies were insane they had like cookies that you could take home and then they had cupcakes from um nothing bunt cake if you have had that cheesecake frosting oh my god and they had little to go boxes so you could take a cupcake with you oh my god it was so good i'm so glad i went i didn't want to go i didn't want to go to this baby shower but i'm so glad i did because honestly i hate baby showers but i've never been to one like this <laughs> so this one this one was nice then after that, we drove to my apartment because the baby shower is actually in my neighborhood-ish, so it made sense. I lived like five minutes away from the place, and I used a Once More With Love cat for that just to mark taking care of the cats. Then we went back to Joe's place and watched, I don't know why, but we were just watching like Planet Earth videos and like under the sea documentary videos. I don't know how it happened, but we watched them for like a good hour and a half or so, maybe just an hour. It felt like days, but... 
we watched quite a few and I used a TV from the kit to mark that. Then we got buy one, get one free bowls from Panda Express. I don't know if you guys have the app, any of you, but for, I think it was like the Chinese New Year or something, they had this scratch off that you could do and you were guaranteed to win. It was, it was just like a, you know, an advertising gimmick thing, but you could get buy one, get one free. So we did that. And this takeout box is from Pumpkin Paper Co., then with a movie marquee, which you cannot see right now because I don't add it until after I move all my stickers, um, I marked that we watched Iron Claw, the Iron Claw. I think it's either the Iron Claw or Iron Claw. I don't, I don't remember. I'm not going to give anything away in case you want to see this movie. The only thing I will say is we stayed up till 3.30 in the morning talking about this movie and researching this movie, and I just had to see if all of the bad stuff in the movie really happened in real life because it was just so much. Well, let me just tell you, real life is worse. Real life, after, if you watch this movie, please look up their Wikipedia page or whatever because their real life was worse. This movie only has three brothers, in it, I think, they have another brother that they just left out of the movie. And his story is terrible too, like so sad. I couldn't believe it. I was, I was very shocked because this is such a, a sad movie on its own. I couldn't believe that they even had to leave a brother out, like insane. Then finally moving on to Sunday, the first thing I marked was that I was too tired for this, meaning the pizza party at breakfast time, um, aka noon. Um, but it was good to see everybody and the pizza was good. It's just, this is, if anything, this should be like, I, I don't know. I'm just being a bitch about it. Everybody has kids, so it's fine. Um, and I should be up at noon anyway. You know, I'm, I'm just being a drama queen, but the pizza slice is from Olive Studio as well as this little car underneath. And I use that to mark uh, going to one of Joe's work stops. And then when we got back to his place, I took a nap uh, by accident. I just fell asleep on the couch because I was dead tired. And these napping cats are from Papershire. Then with a Fox and Pip workout girl. I marked that I did a workout. And then the final thing for Sunday night was playing Hogwarts Legacy, which I have not played in basically two weeks. I think I played 20 minutes two weeks ago and I just haven't had the chance because I purposely brought my PlayStation to Joe's place so I could play the game on the weekends because that's where I am during the weekend and we've been too busy. So that's kind of a bummer, but it's okay. It's just going to last longer. That's all. It just sucks when you're like forgetting all of the spells and then you go back in and have to fight and you don't remember anything. And I have a PS3 and the loading screens after you die, it's like you wait for the game to load longer than you were fighting on the PS3. It's yeah, but whatever. I don't have a PS4. So what are you going to do? And anyway, here is where I fixed my mistake. If you see, I did, I did have to replace a few stickers just because of the extra space I got. And also because I ripped, I ripped quite a few. Um, but yeah, I, I'm glad I did it. It's worth it to me. Maybe not to you, but um, I don't know. I'm really happy with this spread. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.